Hi, I'm Sean Gannon and this is Minute Math and today we're going to learn about radical equations and we're going to solve each equation and remember to check for extraneous solutions. So if I was given this equation, r equals the square root of negative 1 minus 2r. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to square both sides, right? Square root of that square root. So we have r squared here equals negative 1 minus 2r. That's 4. Oh, I am getting tired. Okay? I'm going to bring everything over to the left hand side, leaving with r squared plus 2r plus 1 equals 0. Okay? So now I'm going to try to factor this, right? I'm going to factor that. What two numbers multiply to be a 1 but add to be a 2? Well, that's pretty simple, right? What two numbers multiply to be a 1? and to be 2, that's r plus 1 and r plus 1, right? right? 1 times 1 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, fantastic. Don't need to write both of them, but we set both equal to 0, r equals negative 1 and negative 1, okay? So when we check it here, right, we only have to check one of them, r equals negative 1. Let's check it into uh, our original equation and see if we have an extraneous solution. So if r equals the square root of negative 1 minus 2 times r. I'm going to plug just one of them in, negative 1 in. So I have negative 1 equals the square root negative 1 minus 2 times a negative 1. Okay? Now be careful here with our negatives. So we have negative 1 equals the square root of, well, negative 1 minus 2 times negative 1 is a negative 2. Okay? Now we have plus a negative, which is plus a positive. So negative 1 equals square root of negative 1 plus 2 is a positive 1. Square root of 1 is a positive 1. Negative 1 equals a positive 1. Fantastic, but except a negative 1 does not equal a positive 1. That's incorrect. Incorrect here. Okay? And so, since it's incorrect, that means that's an extraneous solution, right? So negative 1 is an extraneous solution. So actually, none of these worked, right? It was written twice, but none of them worked. There's actually... That's, that's not it. I'm going to look at an N. No solution. And that's my answer. There is no solution here, okay? No real solution. There's extraneous solutions, but no solution. So let's recap. We took our equation, r equals square root of negative 1 minus 2r. I square both sides along the square root. Brought everything over to the left. Left with r squared plus 2r plus 1 equals 0. I then factored that. I could factor it. Got r plus 1, r plus 1, which is r plus 1 squared. Um, L squared equals 0. Set both of them equal to 0. Solved, and I got r equals negative 1 and negative 1. Don't need to write it twice, right? It's the same number, negative 1. So I checked it just once here. Plugged it back in. When I plugged it back in, be careful of this negative here, okay? Uh, we had 2 times negative 1, which is a negative 2. And we have minus a negative, which is plus a positive. Okay, so we had negative 1 plus 2 is a positive 1. Square root of 1 is just 1. And the left-hand side was negative 1. And so this one's tricky. Keep your negatives in line. I've seen students do problems like this where they just assume they messed up and just made it a negative at some point. Not true, okay? Negative 1 does not equal 1. Since it's not equal, it's an extraneous solution. And that was all we had was just negative 1 written twice. And so both of those are extraneous, so we have no real solution, so there is no solution to this problem, and that is our final.